I'm Simon Ogden and I'm a trustee of the Sheaf and Porter Rivers Trust and this is the River Porter or Porter Brook which rises on the moors outside Sheffield at Ringing Low and then passes down through about a thousand feet through Forge Dam, Bingham Park, Aincliffe Park and then through past the cemetery here and then shortly downstream of here disappears from view and then it joins the River Sheaf under platform 5A of the Midland Station. Some people say it's called the Porter uh, because uh, the water uh, resembles Porter beer, a little bit brown. And that's not pollution, that's actually a natural colouring that comes from the bracken on the moors and the iron pyrites, or as we call it in Sheffield, the ochre, that comes out of the rocks along the way. in the Victorian era, the Industrial Revolution and a massive population growth in Sheffield brought rows of terraced houses and much bigger steam-powered factories. Water pollution from sewage and industry was a real problem at this time. Only a couple of years prior to the building of the cemetery, there'd been a dreadful cholera outbreak which killed over 400 people, caused mainly by polluted water. As a result, when sections of the river were actually put underground in culverts, this was usually welcomed by the public. In the early 20th century, the upper Porter Valley began to de-industrialise and the small mills were acquired by the council. These linear river parkways are actually one of Sheffield's really unique and best features and the Trust is seeking to extend this transformation. In an ideal world, the Porter and its tributaries would be restored to the surface so they can function ecologically and act as a natural flood defence. But as they pass under developed areas, this is very difficult and even impossible in some cases. However, groups such as the Sheep and Porter Trust are working towards these goals. In a clean-up uh, in 2019 organised by the Sheep and Porter Rivers Trust, our volunteers came across a number of gravestones on the riverbed. We think these got into the river in 1947 when there was a big flood and part of this riverbank was washed away into the river. This gravestone commemorates Benjamin Bamford, who was buried here in 1855. The gravestone had started to form a little island in the river and was actually obstructing the channel. So the volunteers determined to get it out and with the help of the river stewardship company and a hoist, they managed to get the gravestone out of the river and carry it back to its original location here. The rescue was covered by the BBC. Relatives of Benjamin Bamford in Australia and in Canada picked up the news and got in touch with the friends of the General Cemetery and a local relative was able to come and see their ancestor's grave put back into its rightful place. So if you'd like to help us to reveal and improve more of this beautiful little river, go to our website sheafportertrust.org and we'll see you there.